There are people around the world who own the most amazing animals. I love you These so pet much, owners you love their pets more than life itself. They're all like dogs, they wag their tails, they're near by everything. Yeah, it is supposed to be a relationship. It's always supposed to be a relationship. My name is Jason Kenzie, and as a photographer, I do everything I can to capture the images that makes my clients smile. My up close and personal encounters with these animals has taken me on some awesome adventures. And now I would like to share my stories with you. These are the Photo Warrior Chronicles. my way to Ennisfil to meet this guy by the name of Ivan. He owns a pet buffalo and I'm very excited to go and meet him. Bison Ranch, and I'm going to be meeting Ivan. He's the owner and operator, and he has some amazing big 2,000 pound animals. So, where do you uh, keep the bite? Oh, I see. You see the buffalo there? You can yeah, see over my shoulder. See those are just a few. We're oh. going to go up to the other ranch. Oh, yeah. That's where the main cow herd is. Cool. So, we'll go up there and uh, that's where the big bulls are. The big bulls? Yeah. And you have that one bull, or that one buffalo that's like a pet. Yes, or Sarah, actually. Sarah. She's a female, yeah. Oh, female, so yeah. not as big. Not as big. She's uh, she's around 1,100 pounds. Only so. 1,100 pounds? Yeah. I'm literally hanging outside the car, trying to film with these bison. These are big bulls. These bulls are, 2,000 pounds. Just look at the girth, the mass. Pretty amazing. So right now I'm going to just go and take a good shot of this one here. Then we're gonna go in. I'm going to attempt to ride one. I once oh. peed on an electric fence. Ah! No. Well look, bison hair. Looks like they got shocked here. That's cool. As Ivan was telling me about his market, Big Ben Market, this is where he sells his bison to the public. I looked towards the herd in anticipation to meet Sarah, his pet bison. I thought to myself, what if I traveled all this way and Sarah doesn't come out and approach us. Would this be a waste of my time? I can't think like that. I have to think positive and know that his pet bison will come to us and we will get some amazing photos. So I'm using a 500 zoom lens now with this baby. I can get some good shots even though I don't have to get too close. But soon I'm going to be really close to this bison. The thing about being in the back. <coughs> I just ate a bug. <coughs> Actually, it wasn't bad. Actually, kind of crunchy. Tastes like bison. What's the difference between buffalo and bison? Well, actually, in North America, they're they're bison. And bison. Yeah. Um, you could say buffalo doesn't matter, but on the world stage. Buffalo, most people think of water buffalo. Yeah. So that's why they're bison or North American buffalo. So is Sarah out there now? Sarah's out there now. Um, well, let's hope Sarah comes out, comes over. Cause it'd be nice to get a nice shot of you with Sarah. Yeah. That yeah, would hope, be, hope. that would be sweet. Here comes Sarah. Sarah's coming. I 
God, he's gonna be so close. Sarah's coming. Oh, Sarah stopped. Look over my shoulder. The buffalo that's um, coming towards us. So we're gonna walk towards Sarah. This is so cool. I can't believe this is awesome. How are you doing, Sarah? Here's my friend Sarah. Uh, she's about nine years old now. Um, and what I do for a living is I ranch bison. I also have a, a meat store in Red Deer with specialty foods, and one of our specialty foods is, is bison meat. However, uh, Sarah's not on the menu. She's kind of special for me. Um, she's really what I enjoy about the bison industry. Is, the fact that you have an animal that hasn't been changed by no matter what man has done to it. Uh, they're still a wild animal for the most part. Sarah's the exception to the rule, of course. Um, she was a she was an orphaned calf, so she was raised by bottles, so that's why she's so friendly. Hi. I'm just gonna go over here. Here we go. Hi Sarah. Oh hi. I love you. Yeah, no touching the horns. I just wanna. No, you won't let me. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Sorry, Sarah. You know, you're fairly. Not that young anymore. I started in this when I was uh, 23. I got my first bison. Look at me. They'll do anything to get back together. They actually kind of get freaked out when they get cut from the herd. Yeah. They, really? They, oh yeah. And so this is so different. Yeah, yeah. I, I honestly don't know if she all the time realizes she's a bison. <laughs> How Sarah just came from that herd. Like we actually watched her walk away from her herd to come over to see you. That is amazing. I really want to jump on you and try and ride you. Enough joking around. Now it's time to get some photos of bison running. I used to always wonder about why people would own these kind of pets. Why anybody would own big pets. Tigers, bears, alligators. But after talking with Ivan and seeing in his eyes the love that he has for this, this girl Sarah is very touching. And I had, I am so honored to have met Ivan and Sarah and I know there's going to be many more adventures after this. My name is Jason Kenzie and this is life through my life. Sarah, I'm gonna ride you now. Oh, oh for the love of God, Sarah! I just fell into one of your poops! This is disgusting! <laughs> That's not funny.